Hello and yes, welcome to another vinyl update. This for me is a very interesting vinyl update because I have one record which I think is from maybe the 70s, could be late 60s, but the rest of these records which I've got here are all brand new. Um, they've all come from Amazon and Discogs. Actually, one of them come from eBay, but it's still a brand new item. Um, so yeah, it's a really interesting update, this one. But first of all, I've got to give a huge thank you to a fantastic member to the VC. You know, she's brilliant. You know, Trish, thank you so much for your mixes. These are so cool. Um, I mean, I, I actually stuck this one on the other day, and it was really cool. I mean... And get it open. There's some fantastic tracks on there, and I'm not familiar with half of them. I'm going to be honest, yeah, not familiar with many of these tracks, but they're all brilliant. I mean, absolutely great. There's a little CD, nice here. Um, her website, there we go, people, that's her website, check it out. Um, you know, nicely done, nice little cover there. And the other one is brilliant as well. I haven't listened to this one yet. Um, but I see an Elvis Presley track opening it, which I do know. I'm not a big Elvis fan, but, you know, it's the only track on this one, which I think I know. So, um, yeah, this is gonna, I'm looking forward to listening to this. And they inspired me so much because I really enjoyed the one I've listened to. I really enjoyed it. I, it inspired me to make my first mix. Um, I've sent one out to Trish, um, Adam Lee, and Robert Zine. So, to all three of you guys, you know... Um, I really hope you enjoyed them. I'm sure you'll know nearly all the tracks on it, but hopefully there'll be one or two new ones there. Anyway, on to the vinyls. So first one up, another big thank you here. I don't suppose he's watching this, but you never know. Um, my auntie's boyfriend, his name is Andy, <laughs> um, he picked this up for me when he was in France with his band. Um, he was, um, I, I don't know whether he was at, um, just walking down a high street or something, he saw it in a shop, I'm really not sure, but... Um, he saw this and he rang me up and said, they got this Beatles album here for 15 euros, do you want me to pick it up? And I was like, yeah, please. And he picked it up for me, so I'm so great, grateful, so a huge thank you to him. Um, the Beatles first. Um, never seen this before. I don't know whether I overpaid, because of course I, I gave him the money. Um, 15 pound. Um, but, you know, it's not. I don't believe it's too rare. But it's the label. The label I have not seen before, so... That's what makes it quite interesting. Um, I don't know too much about this, so... Just, um, and the light's going to catch it wherever I hold it. Um, so yeah, I'm sure... Oh, there's a hair. <laughs> I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments below. But this this was so great, you know. And I've listened to it. I've listened to the first side of it. And... Um, you know, John Lennon singing Ain't She Sweet, cool, powerful vocals, powerful vocals. Um, so yeah, this is really cool, really, really nice. There's a track listing, brilliant, I buy. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, so now we're on to the new records. Now, the next one up, I'm showing all the Beatles stuff at the beginning. I got the Beatles one, now I've got a solo Beatles one, and that's it for the Beatles. Um, or, or it's a solo Beatles one, as I said. Um, I've wanted this for ages, and I never got it. And um, I never got around to getting it, but um, yeah, I, I ordered six brand new vinyls over the last month, and I thought, you know, I, I really want this, so I'm going to order it um, because you know, keeping the I don't know, I've just been into getting new vinyls in the last couple of months, so I thought, you know, I've wanted this for a long time. I've got six new vinyls already on the way. Let's get it, and it is Paul McCartney's Ram in mono. So, see that. There we go, Ram, Mono, brilliant, and it was sticking down there telling you what you get, and I really like the design of it, just plain white, but look, they've made it actually dirty and stuff, the, the cover is meant to be like that, um, yeah, and I mean the back's like it as well, you see some little stains on here, but it's, as I said, meant to be like that, and um, there's the insert, here's the insert, so we get this, all the tracks on and some information on the back and the record comes in a plain sleeve again with some stains on you can see there because um, when the artists used to first record their album of course they didn't have the album cover design there so they actually went into the studio with it just normally in a plain paper white 
bag or something, you know. So that's, I really like I really like this actually. We got plain white circle on that side, and on this side, it actually has what number copy it is made. Uh, there we go, seven thousand five hundred and thirteen. Um, you know, the reason it's quite high is because I've left it so long to get it. Um, but I, I listened to it last night, and I would say it all sounds really good in mono. I think too many people didn't have too much going on in it um, compared to the stereo, but near enough all the other tracks I was very impressed. Um, Monkberry Moon Delight sounds brilliant in mono. And yeah, I've kept it in a shrink wrap. The only problem was it was so sealed, it was really difficult for me to get a knife in there to slip the side. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I might have overpaid for this because it's been out a while now. The price is rising on it and I paid £25 or £27 including postage. And this came from Amazon. So yeah, um, 15 25 wraps, 40 quid already. So yeah, I've been spending a lot on my records. Okay, the next vinyl one is from a movie. I recently went to see as a soundtrack. And um, I think you all know what's what's coming up now because I said it's a new movie. What new movie has a really cool soundtrack which has recently come out? Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, I am a huge movie buff. I love the new movies. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, I went to. I'm really in, I'm really digging the Marvel films at the minute. You know, Captain America: The Winter Soldier, The Avengers Assemble. Brilliant stuff. I mean, they get the right directors in, and you know, they don't go overboard on the explosions either. Because you know, you take a Michael Bay film like a Transformers film, and he just loves to go overboard on the explosions. Whereas Marvel tell a good story, and then they give the fans the action they want. So I really love the Marvel films, and um, I mean, the 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 story of Guardians of the Galaxy is like um, it's about a kid who was abducted from Earth, and you know, he's gone into space, and um, and he becomes the hero, of course. But anyway, you know, he has a cassette with him um, when he goes to space. And it has all his mum's old songs on, which she grew up listening to in the 70s and early 80s. It's my, my dog's trying to wreck the video. <laughs> um, so, we got some really cool tracks on it. And the opening track, Blue Sweet, hooked on a feeling. Oh my god, I love the song. So there's the tracks on side one, and there's side two. I mean, look at the songs. Unbelievable. Hooked on a feeling. Uh, what else we got? Go all the way. David Bowie, Moon Age Daydream. One of my favourite Bowie songs at the minute. Um, I'm Not In Love, 10cc. Uh, Redbone, Come Get Your Love. Brilliant, brilliant song. Um, I quite like the Runaways. Cherry Bomb. Bit of a punky kid song, but I really like it. I really dig the song. We've got this nice sticker on here about the film. And I, I love the spine because it's got Marvel written there. See that? Marvel. And I, I look at my records now and I go, oh yeah, look at that, I've got a Marvel record. <laughs> so, and it's on black vinyl. I don't think it was put out in coloured vinyl, but... Um, so yeah, the main reason I'm looking forward to Guardian... Or no, the, the, one of the main reasons I'm looking forward to Guardians 2 now is for the next soundtrack. <laughs> but of course the main reason I'm looking forward to it is because I love the films. They're brilliant. You, you can't knock them. You, you can't knock them. Anyway, moving on. So, the next new vinyl up I have is... Electric Light Orchestra Live. This was surprisingly cheap. Um, okay, so ELO Live, ELO Zoom, Mr. Blue Sky, the very best of ELO, Long Wave, and the reissued version of Armchair Theatre were all put out on coloured vinyl. Only the first thousand copies made were on coloured vinyl, though. Unfortunately, Zoom and Live are completely sold out in coloured vinyl. So, with Zoom and Live, you know, you, you have to accept a black vinyl now. So, with this, it's a black vinyl. I can't show you the gatefold because I've only slipped the side. I like to keep the shrink crack on. But I'll show you the label because the labels on these are really cool. 
really can't see what my camera's picking up. Um, so yeah, I mean that looks so cool to label. And here's the other side with the track listings. It's a double vinyl. And um, oh, the by the way, the Guardians one only cost me fifteen pound. I pre-ordered that one. I got it when it came out. And this ELO Live one was only twelve pound. And it's a double vinyl. I mean, look at the tracks. I mean, I really enjoy live albums. I'd much rather listen to a normal album. Don't get me wrong. But I, a lot of people seem to say, I'm not a big fan of live albums. Well, I personally will sit down and listen to them. So, that was quite nice. However, the records just get better from here. Just straighten my camera up a bit. Got my iPad balancing on a tripod, which isn't very clever. But my camera, which I used to use, which sits on my tripod, is broke, so... <laughs> Zoom. Okay, so I put this album on last night. I was talking to Morgan Davis actually while I was listening to this, so shout out to you, Morgan. Um, really looking forward to your new video actually. Um, it might be up today. You said you were going to upload it, but then again. <laughs> anyway, I was listening to this last night with Morgan when I was talking to Morgan, and I also gave it a quick spin this morning as well. I mean. This one is actually kind of a Beatles related one as well. Beatles related one. You've actually got Ringo Starr on drums and George Harrison on guitar. Um, so that's really nice. And But the opening track, All Right, is better than All Right. <laughs> it is brilliant. The opening track on this is fantastic. This album cost me around £16. And again, double vinyl. And the good thing is, with all these new ELO slash Jeff Lynne releases, you get bonus tracks on every single one. And again, really nice centre there to the record. And then, besides that, this one has a really nice gatefold. And, um, but unfortunately, I'm not taking it out of shrink wrap. I've only slit the sides. But there is a video here on YouTube. Um, I don't know the name of the YouTuber. So I apologise to that person, but I doubt he's watching this. Um who unboxed Zoom Live and Armchair Theatre Remastered, I think it was Humphrey, and he shows the gatefolds. So if you're interested, I'm going to put a link in the description to that video, because it's really helpful with all these new Jeff Lynn slash ELO releases. And I'm going to continue with that and show my next one, which is Mr. Blue Sky, the very best of ELO. Now, it's not a compilation album. It's Jeff Lynne re-recording all his e old ELO hits. I didn't even realise that he'd released this. Because I remember in one of my previous videos, I think it was the Paul McCartney 25 least to Best Albums, um, when I got to give my regards to Bull Street, where he recorded his old Beatles songs, I said, I don't like it when artists do that, because I think Jeff Lynne's doing it in a minute. He's already done it. <laughs> so, here it is, you know. Um, and actually, I really enjoy it. Obviously, they're not as good as the original, even though Jeff probably thinks they are. Um, you know, I just don't think they are, but I love the cover. The cover is fantastic. And the back cover is really cool as well, because we actually can see Jeff. Not very well, but he's on the cover. Um, there's the tracks. The only one which I'd say I might prefer over the original is... 10,538 Overture. That's, I'm not sure if I'd say it's better, but it's nearly as good. And Do Ya is almost as good as the original as well. The others are all very similar, actually, to the original. I thought he'd do a bit of a different take on them, but he didn't. Double vinyl again. Here's the label. Oh, come on. The lighting in here is awful. I've got the house to myself, so I thought I'd come downstairs and film it instead of being stuck up in my room. And I was lucky enough to find it on blue vinyl. This is one of the limited edition thousand copies on blue vinyl. And you'd think that the coloured ones would be incredibly expensive now because they've nearly all gone. I got this for £15, which I thought was brilliant. And yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly happy with this. This was definitely one of the best finds I've had really because the coloured ones are just you know they're not too expensive actually they're around 20 25 pounds but 15 quid bargain especially for a double vinyl as well next vinyl up is going to be Jeff Lynne's Long Wave 
so this is his latest album which got to number three in the charts I believe, he done quite well so some good tracks there, you can see them my personal favourites on here are She, If I Loved You, Mercy Mercy, Running Scared, Bewitched, Bothered and Bewildered um, Love is a many splendid thing and Beyond the Sea, he really does a nice rocking version of Beyond the Sea and it sounds so good, I tell you, it is so nice, it's such a cool song it's only a single vinyl this one, but it's a new album so you know, it's okay Love the label again, and again, one of the limited edition 1000 coloured vinyls. So, I was chucked to bits to find this. This one I got off Discogs, whereas all of the other vinyls come from Amazon. This one's from Discogs, and the next one, my last record, is from eBay. So yeah, I mean, I've wanted this album for ages, because I, I, I downloaded it. Yeah, I know, Joe, me and Mr. Mayor, you're going to be shouting at your computer screen right now. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I don't really like paying £10 or whatever for a CD. So I thought, you know, I'll just download it, and then when I can get the vinyl, I'll get it. And I love the album. And then I, you know, it's very hard to find this album now. And to find it on the coloured vinyl was... Brilliant. I mean, this is the rarest album out of the Jeff Lynne releases to find now. Um, but you can find it. You just have to be looking at the right time and the right place. Now, I've had all them records for quite a while now. I've had them for a couple of days. Some of them I've had for like two weeks. And um, I kept delaying the video because this album actually got lost in the post. <laughs> And the seller said, okay, if it doesn't come by next Monday, I'll send you another copy. And he sent me another copy, and it arrived today. This was this album I ordered like two and a half weeks ago, but the first copy got lost in the mail. Post, you know, whatever. So someone out there is very lucky. They're getting a free copy of this album. And I've got the original upstairs, and the original is mind-boggling. I put it on my phone last night, and I've been listening to it all day because I knew it was on its way this time. And the album is... Brilliant. I, I don't care what anyone says. This is one of my favourite albums from the 90s. One of my favourite albums probably of all time. It probably make it my top 30 albums. Probably. It's such a good album. Armchair Theatre by Jeff Lynne. This is the reissue. I got the original upstairs. Um, they've changed the cover a bit and I prefer this cover. There's the tracks. We get loads. I mean every little thing. Don't let go. It's hard to read them backwards on the screen. I'm just going to... Don't let go. Nobody home. Uh, now you're gone. Don't say goodbye. Uh, what would it take? Stormy weather blown away and save me now. Unbelievable. Haven't heard the bonus tracks yet, which are right down there at the bottom. But yeah, I really dig the design of this. It's a lot better than the original design, I think. And it has such a nice gatefold. The gatefold to this is brilliant. It's, um, what I'm considering doing is buying a copy of this on black vinyl or just taking it completely out of shrink wrap so I can look at the gatefold. Because the gatefold to this is amazing. Again, in the, in the description I'm going to leave a link to that guy's video where he shows you these albums, he shows you the gatefold. The gatefold to this album is brilliant, I love it. Really nice label. And again, this one come from eBay, this one was £20 as well. Blue vinyl, one of the limited edition ones. Discogs, Amazon, didn't have a blue vinyl. Checked on eBay, someone had it there, buy it now, £16, £4 postage. I was like... Um, yeah, I, th these vinyls are quite a lot. I don't mind telling you lot how much they cost. Um, double vinyl again, this one. Um, you know, I mean... I haven't really been bu buying too many records. I mean, I went to Yarmouth couple of weeks ago but I didn't spend nowhere near as much as what I thought I was so I come home thinking okay I'm gonna order these new Jeff Lynne ones um, I originally just wanted armchair theatre and long way and then I ended up seeing that the Mr. Blue Sky one was actually re-recordings for that's really interesting I want to hear it and then I thought yeah I might as well get zoom in live <laughs> and I already had Guardians coming so I pre-ordered that one like two months ago and yeah you know, somewhere along the lines I ended up get ordering Ram as well and that Beatles first one. I had um, 
I've had that for ages. I forgot to show it in my last update. So I've had that one for quite a while. And you know, once again, Trish, thank you. These are brilliant. Thank you so much. I really hope you enjoy mine as much as I'm enjoying yours. Um, so yeah, there we go, vinyl update. 35, 35 I think, yeah. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a message. Thank you very much for watching.